Today I've come to chat to Diana, who moved into the Chew Valley last July with her son, Daniel. Diana, can you tell me what was your life like in Ukraine before the war? Uh, so in Ukraine, we lived in Kyiv with my husband and with my son. We have our own, our own apartment in the city center. And my parents also lived in Kyiv. We visited them every weekend. Uh, I worked at the head of marketing department at IT company. Um, my husband uh, is an engineer, computer engineer. He's writing programs. Um, so after work um, uh, together, we went to some uh, football classes, which Daniel had. We went to some restaurants. We went to the cinema. We could swim together, or just talking about uh, about us. I missed this part of my life. <laughs> So you had to decide to leave and how difficult because your, your husband, can you explain what your husband does, what his job is? Mm -hmm. So my husband is a computer engineer uh, with a very narrow specific and for two years uh, he had very interesting project uh, in Donetsk region they have a nuclear station and the his company won a tender it's what a government tender and they for two years they uh, renovated it so when the Russia army came and destroyed it my husband had a depression because two years working on the project and it was uh, finished. Uh, this nuclear station was uh, um, very successful, very modern, with the newest equipment and uh, it works very well. And um, he it's, and his it's colleagues... Destroyed. It's destroyed. It's destroyed, totally destroyed. So he had to stay. Yes. Of so how difficult was it for you to decide to leave? Um, honestly, uh, it was very easy for me to make this decision because I was very afraid for my son's life. Uh, so uh, when I understand that we should move, it was very easy for me. Just, yes, we need to move, take all we need and get out. And then after several months, I understand it was very difficult because uh, we are not together now, he's in Ukraine and he's in danger every day. I'm worried about him every day. And my son is asking every day, how is that? When we will return home? Yeah, it's, it's complicated. But uh, a, year, a year ago, uh, this decision was, uh, seems very easy for me. I have mm, no choices. I only need to save my son. <laughs> And thanks Pippa, who wrote me and um, said, we have a beautiful house, uh, we have a nice cat and a dog, and you are very welcome with your son. And I saw this and said, wow, they are so kind. And yes, we, th we should do this. And that's how you ended up in the Chew Valley? Yes, oh. yes. So tell me, what, what do you think about the Chew Valley, this place you're living in? Yes, it's amazing. Uh, uh, Chuvali is a very calm and beautiful city. And also um, among, among of among beautiful nature and lakes and uh, green gardens, I like uh, this calm and I like people. All people are so polite, so friendly and uh, each one uh, tries to help at everything. You, um, maybe you could ask something or you really want something. Anyone could help you. So, uh, so I feel myself safe. And people around are very kind, very helpful and very uh, empathy. empathetic. Empathetic. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for my English. You're, no, your English is superb. <laughs> yeah, good. they're very empathetic. Yeah. So, Chuvali is um, very nice. I like this Chuvali Lake. 
Also, Pipa took me to Blackdown Lake. Uh, actually, when we came here, uh, Pipa uh, took us everywhere. And Bristol, she's, she shows us Bristol, Bath, Blackdown, uh, Western, Cliff Dunn. So I think the whole summer set. <laughs> uh, she tried to show us beautiful nature, beautiful places, um, beautiful towns, houses, so it's it's what, amazing. What have you found harder? Is our food similar? Do you eat similar things or do you, is there anything you miss? Um, I think in Ukraine we ate um, too much. <laughs> Here I understand that we should eat more healthy food, um, eat um, less but um, different food um, so also um, thanks to Pippa and Matt they showed me um, their uh, habits so they are tries to be vegetarian but sometimes they have fish sometimes also they have chicken and Pippa is a very good cooker and I understand that uh, dishes could be very simple, but very healthy. In Ukraine, we ate a lot of meat, a lot of, and a lot of um, mm, not healthy food. Potatoes? A lot of potatoes, or... lots of mayonnaise. And uh, here I like uh, fresh fruits and fresh vegetables, so fresh salads. Not like in Ukraine, we have our traditional some salads, they are with mayonnaise and very complicated food. And uh, after eating this grease and complicated food, sometimes we felt in Ukraine not good. But here I really feel fresh and healthy because of food, because of nature, uh, because of healthy lifestyle. Uh, I saw lots of people in Chiwali, they are running, uh, they are doing some exercise, they are vegetarian, they are drinking a lot of water. So I really like it. I, I uh, adore this life uh, way of life. <laughs> When I first um, get uh, sit on the car and tries to drive, I saw polite drivers on the streets. They say, hi, hello, how are you? You could go first. Oh no, I could go first. Oh, it's amazing. It's really amazing. In Ukraine, you always beep beep to each other and in ukraine people are very nervous we are nervous about everything we are worried about our work about our future about our plans about uh, some not very important things to be actually and i understand that people here maybe only in chiwali uh, not the the old uk but in uh, chiwali people are very calm very kind and they are worried only about mental health, about family, about relations, about friends and I understand really it's the main thing. Others, like if you're late for something not important, it's not important, don't worry about it and you need to be polite and happy like people in Chiwali. <laughs> And drivers are my uh, best thing. I like I like UK drivers. <laughs> and your son came with you, Danielle. How has he adjusted? Because he didn't speak English when he came, did he? No, no at all. When we came here, he could just say, my name is Daniel and that's all. But uh, we lived with Pippa and she's a, a primary teacher. So she taught him a lot. Uh, he bought him a lot of presents, got him a lot of books, uh, and he really taught him how to spell, how to write, how to say something. And uh, he was mm, like, um, uh, we, together we were like a friend. So he didn't afraid at all. It was a very big surprise for me. Uh, he didn't afraid of Pippa and Matt and. Uh, a big dog because before this in Ukraine uh, he was scared of some dogs but here it feels like we are with a very really good friends maybe some relatives that's why his life was 
actually his life was in a miracle when we came here he had a birthday Pippa took us to some kids place amazing kids place and uh, Pippa's friends came here tries to speak with him and uh, maybe because he did it afraid he became speaking a bit a bit from day to day he became speaking speaking and then um, we came to Bishop Sutton primary school oh it's amazing school every day he's running with a smile uh, my friends in Ukraine can't believe in this that every morning Daniel woke up uh, early very early before me before clock alarm and say mom mom please we need to go to school I need to be first when the gates will Will open I need to be the first the first student who will come to the Bishop Sutton school <laughs> yeah he's only one Ukrainian through the whole school yeah all uh, teachers and director of this school they are very kind uh, all of them uh, knew uh, know the new and he like this he feels this support uh, no one shouting at him like in some Ukrainian school and he likes it and I see that his life here is a very good life mm -hmm. yes of course he missed his father he missed his home some of his friends but here he feels comfort uh, confident safe and he has uh, lots of friends now and he could speak fluently with them <laughs> It's amazing. It's amazing that this uh, Chuwali region did for us. <laughs> One thing you haven't quite sorted yet, I think, is a, is a job. You'd oh, like yeah. to work. You, you do some work, don't you? And you, you trained. Tell me what you, you did in Ukraine and how you are trying to get a job here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, in Ukraine I did some marketing jobs. So it's uh, like... I could create some websites like landing page, I could uh, make an advertising through Google, I could um, uh, support um, uh, Instagram and Facebook accounts, I could do targeting, so lots of marketing things I did uh, in Ukraine and I try to do here and um, I'm looking for some marketing position uh, in uh, Chuwali region, it may be in Bath, it may be in Bristol, but the main problem is um, the, the new school and I need to have a part-time job and I received some offers uh, but they were for full-time or uh, not far from, uh, not close to my house, so I'm still looking for, for the job. <laughs> If they want a good part-time marketer, you're the person. I think uh, not only good, any, <laughs> any kind of marketing or management, any kind of uh, computer work, uh, I will, could be helpful with this. <laughs> I will be happy. Now, you came in the summer, but yes. the invasion was actually on February the 24th. Yes. And that day is coming soon. Are you doing anything special that day? Do you know? <sighs> I'm afraid I, I will be crying the whole day. <laughs> yeah, because it was, it was unexpectedly. Uh, and when it's um, uh, in the morning, uh, 24th of February, when we woke up at this, after these horrible sounds, we can't believe what's wrong. We can't believe in this. And uh, <laughs> first month, we just waited. We just uh, waited for everything will finish, everything will be all right, just um, uh, it's important. It, um, I thought it um, uh, can't be like people could die. I think it's not normal. It never won't be, especially in the city of Kiev. Um, and um, then we understand that it's a long period. So we were in um, Kiev. And then I decided to start looking for some programs. Maybe we should move abroad. And um, uh, Pippa found me and wrote me. And uh, I thought about it. And then uh, near our building in Kyiv, there were six bombs arrived. Uh, because we live in that district, we have um, railway station. We have... Um, 
some factories, some plants, <laughs> uh, three um, critical infrastructure. And uh, Russians tried to shoot it to them. And there were six bombs. Every everywhere were dark um, so dark was everywhere in the morning so you, woke, you woke up to the, to yes. the explosion yeah we were in panic mm -hmm. and after that my husband said okay just hurry up you need to go to england uh, thanks god we have people who could support us um, and even now i can't believe that people in UK do a lot for us, not only for me, for lots of Ukrainians who live in Chuwali, because we have some community, uh, so maybe some, maybe you know Sarah, <laughs> Sarah, she tries to help everyone, each of us. He tries to find sponsors, accommodations, tries to solve every problems uh, which we have. and. Uh, Thanks to this community, to Sarah and her people, uh, we are <laughs> we are surviving. And uh, even now, I understand uh, how huge this support is. A lots of libraries, people from nearest libraries try to help us. A lots of churches, people at churches try to understand us, and they really want to help. And uh, of course, sponsors and hosts like Pippa and Matt and each uh, Ukrainian family. Mm. So it's a huge support. You're, <laughs> you're very positive, and I can see you're you're very happy here. But there must be times when you feel really sad. You miss your husband. How how can you see the future? How how do you hope the future will go? Um. Uh, first half of year, I hope the war will finish and uh, my son and I, we could return home. But now I understand it's really complicated mm, and I look through my son, he's very happy here. <laughs> um, he's very happy here at his school uh, with his new friends, with uh, this uh, healthy area because in Ukraine he had some problems with his breathing uh, but here he's very healthy and uh, because it's a fresh air around I'm happy for him because he is healthy he's learning I understand that we need to be here uh, maybe longer <laughs> so um, he in summer he will finish his uh, first year at school and then uh, I hope we will come to year two uh, we will go to the year two at the same school and thanks government <laughs> who let us stay here for so long period and uh, thanks um, our sponsors who allowed us to live with them to share their not only their home but their really their family <laughs> And uh, we will be here longer and I think it will be good for my son if the war will finish uh, in this spring, uh, summer, maybe we could stay maybe longer, one or two years and uh, just to finish his education because it's perfect education. Yeah, of course I hope the war uh, could finish as soon as possible. I want to return home. Yeah, but no one knows when it happened and uh, I understand we need to be prepared for this long period. Mm -hmm. So we need to start living now, to do something now, not just to live in and waiting, waiting, waiting from day to day. <laughs> well, I hope you get a good job and I hope your husband stays safe because that's the biggest worry isn't it that is that must yes. be a real worry yes yes mm. uh, because um, Kyiv is not safe place no mm. no one town in Ukraine no. is a not safe no. place now but he is working in dangerous places that the Russians want to attack that's the problem yes yes and he leaves it yeah. not safe yeah. place in yeah. Kyiv yeah. what's his name his name is Sergei Sergei Yes. Okay. Well, good luck, Sergei. <laughs> I'm sure you've told him how happy you are here. Yes, of it's... course. It, he, and he is happy. He is also happy and thankful 
for all people here because we are here and we are safe. He is not worried about us because we are safe, we are okay, we are happy. That's he told me yesterday evening. It's all I need to know. You are safe and you are happy. And he said, I love Pippa and Matt and his pet and their pets <laughs> because uh, you are in a very good mental mental condition here. And he also he he wish uh, the war will finish soon and uh, we could ask our new friends to visit our Ukrainian uh, Ukrainian cities and our Ukrainian homes.